2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS hasn't even arrived in the US yet and it already has a smaller, less expensive companion, just like the full-size S-Class relates to the mid-size E-Class. The EQE is new to the Mercedes-Benz lineup and will slot in below the larger and more luxurious EQS. We expect it to arrive in US showroom sometime in late 2022. Hi guys, this is just exotic. Please subscribe, like, and don't forget to comment on this video, turn on your notification button to be notified when we drop another video. With a single electric motor mounted on its rear axle, the EQE 350 generates 288 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque. Mercedes says this setup will allow the sedan to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds on its way to an estimated top speed of 130 miles per hour. An all-wheel drive version of the EQE will also be offered with a second electric motor powering the front wheels and producing over 400 horses. However, Mercedes hasn't said how powerful or quick this 4 matic variant will be. Still, both configurations will be available with an air suspension and a rear-wheel steering system for what should be a very smooth ride and improved maneuverability in tight spaces. A set of 19-inch wheels are standard but we expect larger rims to be offered, likely with the optional AMG line appearance package. The EQE 350 features a 90.6 kWh battery pack that's expected to provide a driving range of more than 300 miles. Mercedes says the battery can be charged from 10 to 100% in 9.5 hours using a 240V level 2 charger. Plugging the EQE 350 into a DC fast charger is said to charge its battery from 10 to 80% in 31 minutes, according to Mercedes. Inside, the EQE combines an elegant design with rich materials and appears to provide generous passenger space and cubby storage. The environment looks exponentially more futuristic when fitted with the optional hyperscreen, which turns the dashboard into a giant glass panel with multiple digital displays. A floating center console separates the front seats, which come standard with heated and ventilated cushions. These thrones can also be upgraded with massage functions. Every EQE has a panoramic sunroof and customizable ambient interior lighting that traces the dash and doors, creating a distinct aesthetic when lit. Its cabin can be further decked out with options such as a head-up display, four-zone climate control, and front doors that can be opened and closed automatically. The EQE skateboard-like electric platform also looks to be a boon to packaging, and we expect it to have comfortable passenger accommodations and competitive cargo capacity. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell to be notified when we drop another video. The highlight of the EQE's infotainment system is the optional hyperscreen, which measures 56 inches long and consists of three separate screens behind a single sweeping pane of glass. It combines a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster screen, a 17.7-inch central touchscreen, and a 12.3-inch screen for the front passenger. Utilizing the latest version of Mercedes's MBUX software, the impressive interface allows the user to access features without having to scroll through menus or use voice commands. Without the hyperscreen, the EQE standard infotainment system runs through a 12.3-inch touchscreen. It features a fingerprint scanner that lets users access individual profiles. Also standard is a Burmester sound system and a wireless device charger. Every EQE is equipped with a host of driver assistance technology, and it can be upgraded with an array of even more advanced equipment. The list of options includes a 360-degree camera system, automatic high-beam headlights, and a self-parking feature. Standard forward collision warning and automated emergency braking. Standard Lane Departure Warning and Lane Keeping Assist. Available Adaptive Cruise Control with Stop and Go Technology. Mercedes provides limited and powertrain coverage for its current production models that align with most rival luxury automakers. However, unlike BMW and Jaguar, the company doesn't provide any complementary maintenance but they offer. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Electrical components are covered for 8 years or 100,000 miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance. The new Mercedes EQE will likely on sale in 2022. 
Mercedes hasn't said how much it'll cost yet, but it'll probably set you back about the same as a high-spec Mercedes E-Class, from around £60,000. There's a chance that Mercedes may only bring more expensive, higher-spec cars to the UK, as it did with the EQS, which could set you back more like £80,000. Four-wheel drive versions will cost more though, and the AMG EQE that's coming later will probably set you back more than £100,000. With this, the exotic car world is placed on notice. Thank you all for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment the country you're watching from. See you in my next video.